Baseball was a white man's game for a century. The very first game of organized baseball was played in Hoboken, New Jersey in 1846. For exactly 100 years, all the players in the major leagues and the many minor leagues were white. A few light-skinned Negroes did manage to pass as Cubans or Mexicans, but baseball was officially closed to blacks. They had to form their own leagues, playing in broken-down ballparks for very little money. But that changed forever on April 18, 1946. Jackie Robinson and the Montreal Royals of the International League began the season and a new era in Jersey City, New Jersey. And the guinea pig turned out to be a lion. In a fantastic performance, Robinson hit a three-run homer, went four for five at the plate, scored four runs, drove in four others, and stole two bases. For a man under so much pressure, representing an entire race of people, it was an incredible debut. Years later, in 1962, the day he became the first black player elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame, Robinson explained why he accepted such an enormous challenge. I hope that it uh, serves a purpose because there are a number of us who uh, look back at our careers and we become discouraged. And I think it may inspire many of our people to recognize that a little extra hard work, a little effort, perhaps they too can be rewarded. Uh, I don't think they'll ever be as happy as thrilled about anything as I am uh, at this moment, but uh, hard work and determination will eliminate a lot of the ills that we face. Back in 1946, Montrealers had caught baseball fever. They hadn't yet seen the team which was making history. They eagerly sought tickets for the Royals' home opener. After that first incredible game in Jersey City and two weeks on the road in the U.S., Jackie Robinson and the Royals finally were home. They had over 16,000 people at Delormier Stadium that day, the largest opening day crowd ever. Mayor Camillian Hood threw out the first ball, and Jackie Robinson went on to have a magnificent season. He batted 349, stole 40 bases, and was an outstanding second baseman. The fans in Montreal loved him, but not in most of the U.S. cities. The old prejudices were very strong, and Robinson had many rough times. But all that abuse, the threats, the hard times for Jackie took place on the road, not here. This is where the old ballpark was, Delormier Stadium. It's been gone for a long time now, replaced by an athletic field and a school. But this was home for Jackie and the Royals. They loved it here. And he led the Royals to the championship of the minor leagues. They won the Little World Series defeating the Louisville Colonels in a terrific struggle. After the Royals won the final game of the Little World Series here at Delormier Stadium, Robinson was almost torn apart by the adoring fans. When he left the ballpark, through a doorway in the park just about here, there were thousands out on the street, and he literally had to run for his life down along Ontario Street to get away from them. But as Sam Moulton of the Gazette wrote, it may be a lesson of goodwill among men. The chasing of a Negro by white men, not because of hate, but because of love. Jackie Robinson died in 1972, and he hasn't lived in Montreal since 1946. But Montrealers can always take pride in having supported to the fullest a real hero of our times as he made history. For Newswatch, I'm Bob McDevitt.